Welcome back to Everyday Funko. It is the start of the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. I know we kind of already had Steve in there, but we had a bit of a break. Got at least five of them lined up and a lot more coming. So don't worry, it's gonna be a pretty fantastic two weeks here on the show. As you can tell, I'm a huge Fantastic Beast fan. I've got a lot of them up here. There's a couple that I don't have. I definitely want the Newt exclusive at some point. I love the little pets. So this is really exciting that they actually brought out one of the beasts in a larger six inch scale. I like the Demi guys, but I also don't like them at the same time. The Niffler I didn't keep. I actually really didn't like that figure. I thought it just looked terrible. I know that's kind of weird when a lot of people, when they collect, they want things to be, you know, a full collection. I really have to like it and really love what I'm looking at. And OCD wise, I'm also kind of really like a balance and things to flow well on my shelves. This one is just because it's just so cool. I'll probably only keep the clear plastic one when it comes to like the invisible mode of him. I really like that one a lot. But I like little pets. Like I really do. Like I love Kira with Fizzgig, Sarah with Worm, the Xenomorph with the little baby. Like they just look really, they just look prop, like they look like they work together. Whereas when you have you know, the six inch of this and then these ones and then Niffler and they're all kind of, their sizing doesn't really make sense to me and I think they look kind of, just don't look as good. So that's a bit of my ramble when it comes to what I prefer in my Funkos and why you might wonder why I only have certain ones of a certain collection. And that's generally the reasoning behind it because again, I'm really kind of crazy when it comes to my OCD and having everything look a specific way. And that's just the type of collector I am. I can't wait to open this. I'm a little nervous. My friend's was damaged. Uh, they got a replacement, but it's, yeah. So cross your fingers when this Okami comes out of the box because it's really beautiful from what I've seen. You've seen the 360 video. Let's open it up. I really just want to see what this actually looks like in some, all of its details. So let's check it out. Oh, it kind of reminds me of a little dragon. It is really beautiful. Everything about this figure is just, it actually reminds me of those dragon statues. I think they still make them. The metallic -y, they come in greens and reds and all different colors. They were really kind of big in the early, like late 90s. And anyways, they I think they still make them. I've seen them in Vancouver at the dragon shop. So this reminds me so much of that when it comes to the sheen and the pearlescent color of it. What a great combo to add to the collection. And size-wise, this is great. Like, this is so nailed it. Like, they could not have brought one of the beasts out any better. And this makes me hopeful that they're going to bring out more. I really hope we don't have to wait until the next Comic-Con. And I think because of how popular it was and how high demand it was, I, I think I'm hopeful that they're going to bring out more, especially with the next movie when that one comes out. So mine isn't busted or broken, but there is a little bit of paint rub here. I think I could probably fix that by taking it to a model store and matching up the paint a little bit, but uh, you can tell actually inside the lining of the plastic there, there was a bunch of paint. So it didn't come off anywhere else on my figure, but they obviously rushed these out of the factory to get them ready for Comic-Con and just kind of, yeah, so that was a bummer. Only other dislike I have about this figure is underneath its head, right on the jaw, is where they put the, like, the stamp instead of putting it on the very back bottom here where no one would have ever seen it and no one would have ever cared. It does pose a little bit weird. Not fully, but it would have been, I don't know, it's almost like it should have been more straight on. So it's a little bit angled. I guess it kind of looks like it's flying a little bit, but beautiful what a great figure i really want them in the next series that they bring out of these to make a mini one that goes along with it with the pets so that that would just make my day pretty sure i may have already said that i need some more coffee it is definitely my day off i'm kind of in my like limbo i'm going to pre-record a bunch of videos i'm going out of town so i just want to make sure that i don't miss out and keep these going because when i get back i'm sure i'm going to get a giant box filled with my other ones and there'll be an unboxing video so much is happening web store is nowhere near going up that'll probably be next week and patreon is coming so thank you all for tuning in i will see you all in the next review make sure to subscribe below leave your comments tell me what you think of the okami you've seen the video here i may not be in a lot of this video because you, you know you've been watching it and i've kind of wanted to show off my other ones because they're really cute and beautiful and this seriously like her headdress can't wait to open those 
So thanks for tuning in and we will see you all in the next review.